You're looking at just a few of the nearly 600,000 river herring or alewives that migrated upstream to spawn at Mystic Lakes during this year's migrating season. That according to the state. Dr. Patrick Heron, executive director of the Arlington-based Mystic River Watershed Association, is confident this is among the largest river herring runs in the Bay State for 2018. Well, this year the river herring uh, had about 550,000 river herring migrate up from the Atlantic Ocean up into Upper Mystic Lake. Uh, they went further. We had about 25,000 river herring get up into Horn Pond this year for the first time. Herring's Association conducts on-site and video monitoring programs to help the state make an accurate count of the summer migration. Heron says despite the aim for accuracy, he truly believes the alewife spawning population could be even higher. And that comes as good news to the fowl that feast on them and to those of us at the top of the food chain. River herring are a forage species, so they're a species that are snacked on, if you will, by a variety of commercial uh, and important um, fish that we eat regularly, whether it's stripers or bluefish or cod. This is the base of the food chain. The astounding number of herring migrating through these waters continues to be robust as they make their way to points north through here, the Upper Mystic Lake Dam. Now, during the migrating season, the herring have two choices when they travel from the Atlantic Ocean to these parts, either the Charles River or the Mystic River. They must, they must smell something good up here. Uh, they swim up through the Amelia Earhart Dam um, and then swim uh, about seven miles uh, up the Mystic River to arrive here at this dam. Alewife populations have seen significant declines in the past century, in part because the construction of thousands of dams along the eastern seaboard have decreased access to major spawning areas. Six years ago, the Upper Mystic Lake Dam was modified to allow river herring to migrate further north. But Heron says dams like this are currently in short supply. And all of the dams, the thousands of dams that we have in Massachusetts, have cut off the habitat for this species. And as uh, efforts are underway to remove dams in different parts of the state, we're really hoping that that additional habitat that gets put back into play for these river herring mean a larger population going forward. Heron says if we care about the future of the Atlantic fisheries industry and the healthy benefits we ourselves glean from it, it begins in large part from this relatively small fish as it takes part in nature's grand and ancient yearly cycle. I'm Jeff Barnd, Arlington Public News.